The movie begins in the summer of 1942, during World War. A German military administration oversees Paris and the north of France. In a small village in the north of France, the Jewish are forcefully deported by German soldiers. A Jewish man named Benjamin walks with his daughter, Anya, as they are forced into the trains with the other Jews. He begs the passengers in another train fleeing France to take his daughter. Fortunately, a woman on the train takes pity on them and takes her inside. Meanwhile, the south of France remains free from Nazi interference. Life continues in the village of Lesquion, high in the Pyrenees. One day, Joe Lalonde, a young shepherd boy, takes a nap from watching the sheep, despite his father's reminders never to do so. Suddenly, his dog, Roof, barks loudly at something. He checks it out, only to find a black bear growling at them. The bear attacks Roof as Joe scrambles to get away. He runs to the village, telling everyone about the bear in the woods. His grandfather, Henri, asks about the sheep, but Joe doesn't know as he runs to safety. Later, his grandfather gathers a group of men to hunt down the bear. His mother doesn't want him to go as he is too young and later hears the gunshots from the woods. The hunting party gathers at the village center as they celebrate the successful killing of the bear and toast Joe for alerting them. However, Joe is only worried about the well-being of his dog. He asks if anyone has seen him, but nobody answers, so he returns to where he last saw Roof to look for his dog. He eventually finds Roof in the woods, but he is injured. Joe meets a mysterious man who has already patched up the wounded Roof. He tells Joe that he saw everything, from Joe napping until the hunting party killed the mother bear. The man tells Joe they could have gotten away as he led the men from her cub before she was killed. Joe asks about the man's name, but he avoids answering him. The man picks up the cub and carries it home to care for it. Unbeknownst to the mystery man, Joe follows stealthily behind him until they reach the home of the widow Horcada, a formidable woman who, besides her late husband, also lost her daughter. Just outside by the window, Joe eavesdrops undetectably. Horcada scolds him for breaking his promise of not going out as she fears he might be caught and worries that Joe might tell everybody about the strange man. The man argues that he can't be locked in there forever, and she reminds him he is all she has left in her family. Joe understands that he could get in danger if he is seen in town and overhears that he is waiting for his daughter, Anya, to come to find him, as they were separated in the northern part of France and agreed to meet in her grandmother's house. Joe nearly gets caught by Horcada through the window and quickly runs to town. Meanwhile, Joe's mother milks the sheep on the farm, when Horcada passes by, and Joe asks his mother about her, she immediately tells him to stay away from her. As his mother leaves the barn, he quickly fills a milk bottle. He claims to go to Hubert's, and his mother reminds him to return before dark. Joe goes to Horcada's barn, believing the bear cub must be hidden there. He pours milk on a shovel but sees a little girl's shoe nearby. Joe picks it up to inspect it, and a little girl emerges from the hay, saying the shoe is hers. Her sudden appearance shocks Joe, and he quickly runs out of the barn, only to be caught by Horcada. Inside her house, Horcada questions the boy about what he saw in the barn, but he claims he saw nothing. She asks him again and explains he was only looking for the bear cub and nothing else. The man explains to Joe that he is Jewish and his name is Benjamin, and the Jewish are being forced out of France by the Germans. The man explains that he is waiting for his daughter, Anya, to find him as they are separated. He explains that he smuggles Jewish children to safety, taking them by foot, over the mountains, across the border into Spain. Horcada is very concerned for Benjamin's safety but helps by hiding the children and providing them with food, clothing, and shelter. She makes Joe promise not to tell anyone about anything. Benjamin's explains he left the bear cub in the mountains a week ago, as it was big enough to fend for itself. Then, he sees mysterious vehicles winding up their way to their village. They post some flyers on the wall, and he can only read out three names from the neighboring village and the word executed. The next day, German soldiers gather the people. Lieutenant Weissman announces that they have come to implement a strictly enforced curfew of 9.30 p.m. Everyone must carry identification papers at all times, and around-the-clock patrols will take place at the border to make sure that no fleeing Frenchman or Jew crosses the mountains into Spain. If they find enemies of the Reich, they will face execution. During the announcement, Hubert, Joe's friend, imitates shooting a gun at the soldiers. His father grabs him to stop him from doing it while the lieutenant approaches them. Hubert's father explains that his son was joking. However, Weissman pulls out his gun and imitates shooting Hubert in the head as a bluff, which scares everyone. The next day, Joe hurriedly goes to Horcada to warn her about the German soldiers in the village and that they are patrolling in the mountains. He asks about Benjamin's whereabouts, but Horcada says that he last night with Leah. She says that Benjamin takes the call to La Rail Crossing, and Joe immediately takes off to go to him. Rain falls hard on him as he calls out to Benjamin. He eventually finds him in the barn, 
and he finds, and he finds Benjamin holding onto the shivering Leah. He had to carry Leah, causing him to twist an ankle. Joe insists that he must go to the village for help. They go out of the barn and into the rain. Joe helps Benjamin walk while he carries Leah. Joe brings them to Horkata's house, and they thank Joe for assisting them safely. The next day, as Joe goes to class, he is sick with a cold. As Joe and Hubert go home, they stop by Henri and his old friends, who hate seeing the Germans invade their village. Henri leaves the corporal as he spots Horkata and greets her with a kiss on each cheek. Hubert suddenly runs off as he sees the German soldiers. Horkata asks Henri to borrow Joe to help with her shopping and will pay him for the job, and Henri immediately agrees. On their way to her home, Horkata tells him that she needs his help with the groceries as Benjamin can't because of his injured ankle. He does this for several weeks and helps with errands to gain their trust. Joe couldn't see the children, but he knew that more of them were coming. With the Germans patrolling the mountains, there is no easy access to them. One day, when Joe waits for the shopping to finish, he steals more food and puts it in his pockets. Suddenly, Corporal Hoffman goes into the store to buy cigarettes. He notices Joe bringing a lot of groceries, so he decides to help out and get the other bag of groceries to Horkata's house. Joe tries to stop him, insisting that he can do it himself. Thankfully, Hoffman gives it back to him as he hears the siren sounding, but not after Hoffman makes him promise they will go up the mountains together to look at the eagles. Soon, the German soldiers inspect all the houses, as ordered by Lieutenant Weissman. Soldiers inspect Joe's house and find letters from a labor camp. The letters are from Joe's father, a prisoner of war, which shocks Joe. He grabs the letter from the soldier, wanting to read it immediately, but the soldier doesn't let him. Joe runs to Horkata's house to inform them that the Germans are inspecting the homes. He worries about Benjamin and the children's safety. He is shocked when he sees his grandfather there and is already aware of the secret they are hiding. Later, Lt. Weissman enters the house and interviews Horkata and Joe while his men search the place. Joe asks if they are searching the houses, and Weissman tells them there have been stolen munitions from the barracks. They later find a book in the barn, but Joe claims it is his, and Weissman orders him to read from it. Thankfully, it convinces them, and continues to search the other houses. Horkata leads Joe to a mountain cave where Benjamin and the children hide. They had been hiding there for almost a month, and it was his grandfather's idea to do so. They decide to wait until it is safe for them to leave and go to Spain. Joe is annoyed that Henri didn't tell him he knows the secret, but it was because Horkata made him promise. While working to make a fence for the sheep, Hoffman arrives to fulfill his promise to him. However, he is busy, so Hoffman offers Hubert to go with him to see the eagles. They return later, and Hubert excitedly tells Joe they spotted the eagle. As Hoffman goes back to the town, he gets a letter that informs him that there was a bombing in Berlin that killed his daughter. Later, Joe goes with him to go up the mountains and find the eagles. They eventually find the eagle, and they joyfully gaze at its beauty. Later, Hubert and Joe visit Hoffman in his office. Hubert gives him a handmade wooden trinket while Hoffman gives him his binoculars. There is a bombing of a bridge, and the townsfolk's supply of food is taken until they find the culprit of the bombing. This makes Joe's job difficult, as he can only get little food to give to Benjamin and the others. Some children have become ill, and Joe cannot bring medicine. One day, Joe arrives home and sees his father is finally home, but he later leaves to get a drink, where he tries to start a fight with the corporal. Joe brings him home later that night, and he sees the scars and the trauma that prison did to him. He wakes later and hits Joe for being a treacherous coward for befriending the corporal. Henri defends Joe by telling him what Joe has been bravely doing to save Benjamin and the children. With most of the townspeople succumbing to and cooperating with the Germans, transporting the Jewish children across the border became increasingly dangerous. Joe, Henri, Benjamin, and Horkata devise a plan to get the children out. Joe's mother gives them the idea of disguising the children as sheep, and they later discuss it with Horkata. Initially, Horkata disagrees with the plan, fearing that two years of hiding them from the Germans could be ruined in just one day. All the townspeople would have to help the children escape. The Germans must not know or notice anything because if they are caught, they will be executed. They invite the German soldiers to acquire recital to be performed by the village children. At the same time, they transport the Jewish children into Horkata's barn. The following day, they claim that the town has a tradition of transporting the sheep to a pasture while the children go with them. They manage to transport the sheep and the children. Unbeknownst to the Germans, the children are Jewish. They bring the sheep into the pasture while the children are brought to a safe house. The next night, as they are guiding the children to cross the mountain, the bear which Benjamin saved earlier distracts him, making them late enough to escape. Although many children manage to escape to the border of Spain, Leah doesn't want to leave Benjamin. With no chance to escape, Benjamin takes her to the village, and the Germans capture them. 
Then, they are sent to a concentration camp to be killed. One day, Corporal Hoffman visits Joe, who is angry at him for capturing Benjamin and Leah. Hoffman explains he was aware of the children hiding but kept quiet and tells Joe, at least they achieved something. As the townsfolk celebrate winning the war, the German soldiers are leaving. Hubert grabs the rifle on re-hit in the cemetery before and points it at the lieutenant. Weissman shoots him dead, Joe holds his friend's body, crying out that he didn't mean it, while Hoffman looks sadly at them as if he can't do anything. One year after the war ends, Joe's grandfather marries Horkata, and a telegram arrives from Anya, announcing her imminent arrival. The movie ends as Anya eventually reaches Horkata's house and is welcomed by her grandmother, Henri, and Joe. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this to help the channel out. Have a nice day.